Hello, friends. This week's devotion is titled, Decision Maker. The other day, I asked God what His purpose was in sending me to a new forthcoming assignment that He revealed to me long ago. My attitude wasn't reluctant. I was just excited about it, and I wanted to better understand His perspective. The answer Holy Spirit gave to me was simply that it delighted Him. I honestly didn't expect to hear this, but I love that it was the first thing he said to me because it prompted me to realize that once again, our primary purpose for being here is to please God. As I delighted in his answer, I realized that so much of the complexity I was expecting him to share was actually behind me and that I would experience joy in new ways forward. I was reminded of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, which always lifts my mood. The NLT version says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. We see here that our Maker desires that we seek Him with our whole heart, to experience Him in new ways right now and forward. He has revelations to share from his heart of delight that will lift our heads and guide us onward into all he has for us. So as I devoted more time to him, Holy Spirit revealed some deep specifics of a joyful thing that he has just ahead that filled me even more with awesome wonder. God has many glimpses of specific elements that will delight your heart too. This is a time of intimacy with God, in which he will clarify his will and our new assignments and ignite fresh passion in us. There's a blossoming and a fullness of life and power that's just before us. It involves more than one element of life that God has been crafting together for a long time as he brings us into the manifestation of what pleases him. Holy Spirit highlighted Ephesians 2 verse 10, which says, For we are God's masterpiece, He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. I believe He's inviting us to draw near to Him and marvel at how He continues to shape our futures and bring goodness in the land. At the same time, He's sharing more understanding of what He brought us through, so we can experience even more peace, release, and closure to more fully proceed. Holy Spirit keeps showing me a vision of a relay race. In the vision, I see a baton passing that's about to occur. I see that it will manifest swiftly and very soon. Obviously, a relay involves more than one runner to get us to the victory line. So where one runner hands off the baton and another runner receives it, I believe this is a depiction of those who are finished with their roles in our races and are handing them off to ready runners of God's choosing. These fresh ready runners who have waited for this baton will receive their role and run with it all the way to victory. They will be ones who are strong in the Lord, established, and have much to offer with great efficiency. Holy Spirit revealed to me that He's using them for redemptive purposes in our lives, to help bring us into what has seemed elusive up to now. So God's truth is that he's leading us into his fullness of time for what he has planned for us. This includes those tasks we tried to do earlier on our own, but experienced outright rejection. God's grace is coming into place for those things, and we can even feel it coming. Holy Spirit revealed to me that he's removing the withholdings, which is depicted by the runner handing off the baton, for the purpose of expansion, and that what we have to leave behind, he will put in perspective for us by revelation and by his presence. As we continue to devote time to God, he's offering joyful understanding to us so that we can continue our races freely in his peace. Holy Spirit reminded me that the righteous are crossing over into the miraculous manifestation of his promises, big, jaw-dropping ones and that faith in Him has been our bridge. In all of this process, it's important to remember that God will make everything work out according to His plan, 
even before he made the world, our Creator loved us and chose us. Therefore, we can trust him as our most wise decision maker, and by his triple grace, we can know that we won't miss it. Lord, may it be according to what delights you as you lead us into divine destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.